Hello, I'm Paul and I just want to share with you my impressions of the Shin Godzilla VR experience for PlayStation VR. Uh, just a word of warning, I am about to show you the full experience, so if you plan on doing this yourself sometime, please stop now so you don't get anything spoiled for you. So um, I picked up my PlayStation VR last year um, just before Black Friday, it was um, 2017. Um, went to a local game event where they opened about 8 o'clock. Had a look round. I think this is actually the only thing I picked up, but I say only, this was 250 or quid. Um, anyway, um, got it home, unboxed it, and you know, set it all up. And the first thing I did was try out this. Um, I had this downloaded about six months prior to buying the unit because I knew I'd be getting one as soon as it was on sale. Um, if you want to get this experience for yourself, just um, Google how to set up a Japanese PlayStation account, um, search the store for Godzilla, and you should be able to find this, and it's absolutely free. So if you've got PlayStation VR and you like Godzilla, go get this now. Um, now I believe Sony worked with Toho and actually used assets from the film in here. So hopefully the helicopters and Godzilla himself are taken from the film. Unfortunately, the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation VR unit could not render uh, the same quality that you see in the movie. So the detail here is severely lacking, I'm afraid. Um, there's no interaction, as you can see here you're just a, a well, what I'm assuming is a civilian trapped under rubble and you just watch Godzilla walk around the city getting attacked by some helicopters. So, I mean again I'll stress it's free, but it is about two minutes long and you can't interact and there's not as much happening as I would have hoped. Um, you'll see these helicopters fire some shots, I think you see some you see a tank or artillery shells hitting him as well, although you don't see the vehicles firing. And that's pretty much it. I think it would have been really cool if they um, had some fighter jets flying by or some buildings um, toppling and um, his atomic breath would have been a fantastic way to end it because I mean, in my opinion that was the best bit of the film. But there you go. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, there's not much really else to say. I would say I'm disappointed in it, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's cool, you've got to the... I'll let you watch the rest of it and um, well, hope you enjoy.